Right, it's uh, March and I'm going to sow some kohlrabi today. I um, don't know if you've uh, ever grown it before. It's an unusual looking veg. Uh, for people who are old enough to remember the Sputnik um, <laughs> uh, satellite, the, the Russian satellite, it just looked like a ball with strange leaves coming off of them. Um, but you can eat the sort of swollen stem, looks a bit like a turnip, um, but you can grate it up, make coleslaw with it, put it in salads, that sort of thing. But it also has um, nice soft leaves on the top as well, which you can eat as spring greens. So it's quite handy veg, um, deserves to be more widely grown, quite an unusual one. Um, you find it in most of the seed catalogues, you can get them in green or purple. This is a purple one called Modrava, uh, an F1 variety. So. Um, being an F1 it should be nice and grow nice and evenly, all the same size roots. Um, so I'm going to sow some of those. I'm just going to sow a few. They grow quite quickly. Um, you should be able to, from sowing to harvesting, it's about 12 weeks or so, depending on the time of year. So it's best to just sow a few often. Perhaps, uh, perhaps do a batch every three, four weeks or something like that from March, um, perhaps through to the end of May, June, that sort of thing. Um, they're best when they're small, they're nice and tender, so you don't want them to get too old really. Um, but they do tend to get a bit tough. So I'm going to, you can sow them um, straight in the soil if you want to. Just sow them in rows like you would any other veg. Um, I like to start them off in trays and then plant them out later. It's just so that I can get an earlier, earlier crop. Um, they're a member of the cabbage family, so they do suffer from the same pests that cabbages suffer from. So things like birds um, and uh, caterpillars, obviously cabbage white caterpillars, um, flea beetle, the tiny little beetles that jump around on the soil, make little holes in the leaves. So by sowing them in trays, you sort of protect them for a little while from those things and get them off to a good start. So I've just got a small cell tray, I'm going to fill it with ordinary multi-purpose compost. Nice fresh compost from the, that's been uh, bought as a nice new bag this year, so it's not, um, not been hanging around in the garden centre over winter. So just fill it up, give it a tap, and that should do you. And then we've got our seeds here. They're not too small, not particularly big either, but they're not too bad to, to handle. like very much like cabbage seeds really so they're just little small round seeds and we'll just pop one or two on the top of each each cell and it's going to do that so you could sow a couple on the top of each and just thin to the the best one if you want to go. So we've got 20 little cells there which is ample really to feed two three people with kohlrabi as a, as a batch and we'll sow some more in about three four weeks time. Then all I'm going to do is push them down gently. You don't want to be too deep, about a quarter of an inch or so. Go. a little bit more on the top just a very light covering you could cover them with um, just with a bit of vermiculite or perlite if you wanted to can't do give them a tap a few lumps and we'll give them a water and label them um, don't really need any heat around March time. If you were doing them a bit earlier, sort of February, you might put them in a propagator, but really they'll be all right in a cold frame on a greenhouse bench or just in the polytunnel and they'll be fine. Take about 10, 20, uh, 10, 10 days, uh, maybe 14 days to come up and once they're through um, they'll grow really quite quickly. Um, as soon as they're big enough to, um, to handle they can come out and they can be they can uh, just be planted outside. Would harden them off first though if you if you are growing them inside rather than sowing them direct. Um, acclimatize them to to life outside first. So take them in take them out um, during the day and bring them in at night for a week or so until they get used to the temperatures outside and then they'll be perfectly fine. So that's kohlrabi.